interested in is why there is such a large um, there's there's a large case number of cases of back injuries for those who drive trucks, um, for a living, or buses, or even even more prevalent would be those who operate large hauling devices, specifically up in the mining industries, where they're in very rough ground and they're being they're moved all around in the actual cockpit of the vehicle, and we know that vibration has an effect on these muscle spindle fibers. It's almost like the muscle spindle fibers say, you know what, you're moving me way too fast and way too often that I'm just going to shut down. Uh, we're looking for subjects uh, around 18 to 30, so males in that age group. And uh, basically what we'll be doing, uh, we're going to be doing research to look at the uh, neuromuscular response during vibration. So, um, as we were talking about before, so under occupational, um, in occupational situations, so say truck driving, uh, different transportation things, so bus drivers, truck drivers, and specifically uh, in coal mining or different mining industries, they're undergoing a lot of vibration. And also with this vibration, the road surfaces that they're um, on are very uneven, so they're undergoing a lot of jolts, which we call perturbations. So we're looking to test, um, kind of test it, uh, simulate these vibrations and the jolts in this healthy population that we're recruiting for to test the different responses that are going on in the muscles to see if maybe there's a delay in the reflexes because a lot of people in these industries are having back injuries. It actually, um, there's something called the muscle spindle receptors. So those are found in the back muscles. So they actually sense the change and the length, uh, sorry, the change in the length, the timing, and the actual length of the muscles themselves. So with the vibration, they kind of cause um, different firing of these muscle spindle fibers. So instead of knowing the length of certain muscles, these vibration are causing, uh, the vibrations are causing them to not necessarily know what the lengths are. So they might be turning off, they might be getting injured. So we're trying to get to the bottom of what's actually going on at the muscle to understand that.